Okay, now for this one, I am going to start building my second frame, right? Now my first frame was really easy. I just brought in an asset I already had. For my second frame, I don't want to just jump immediately to this asset. And that's where you can reference your storyboard, right? I don't get to this asset until this frame. So what I need is something that bridges from here to here. And so to do that, I'm going to bring this in. And because it's a PSD file, what I actually need to do is open it. And I can open it in PhotoP, right? But I can also open it just in a regular image viewer and then export it as a PNG. You see how the background's cut out around it? And if you guys can mute your mics, let's see. So that way, if this is about kind of building assets for your animation to build your frames that are more useful. Okay, so now I have a PNG of it right here. And I'm just going to drag and drop that into PhotoP. And so it dropped in, and then I want to put it into folder 2. And it comes in as a smart object. So this gives me the opportunity to place it using control T. But in order to line it up with what I have before, I'm going to turn off my sketch. First of all, I can take its opacity down even as a smart object. Hit control T. and line it up with my sketch, but my sketch might not be as accurate as what I want it to be. So instead of having it line up to my sketch, I want it to line up to my first frame, right? So I turn off my sketch and I see my first frame. And I see already that I'm gonna start to grow my image a little bit. So this is a transformation. I'm, I'm scaling it up and changing the colors and, and doing some different things. So control T and I can decide how, how much I want to grow it, right? But I know I want to grow it at least that much. And this is all about your reference. I'm going to zoom in and just show you what I mean. So I need the skin to change, right? And I can line up the eyes. So that's a good place to, to start, right? I've lined it up with the frame behind. So now, whereas before I just had the sketch, now it goes from this to this, but that's too big a jump, right? In fact, that's exactly what I want for my next frame. So I'm just going to duplicate it. Just hit Command J on the folder, and it will make a frame two copy. And then I'm going to move the sketch from folder three into my copy. How did that happen? <laughs> there we go. I, then I can get rid of and basically turn the layer to copy into folder three. There we go. So I know I want that for folder three. 
I know I want this for frame one, folder one. So now frame two is about something in between the two, which is what I tried to sketch, but now I get to actually solve those problems. So to do that, I need to rasterize it, and I need to do things like cut down the horns, and I might do this at a lower opacity, so I'm seeing frame one underneath it, and working halfway, right? So I'll cut down the horns just to about here. Okay, and then what? I'm shifting the color of the, the red and the tunic, so I'm gonna select with the magic wand. This is for my work, you know, the, the reds and hold down shift and make multiple selections. And then with that, I am going to say, let's um, shrink it a little bit or let's cut away from it, right? So, I might cut away a little bit from this edge and get a little bit closer to this fabric. Cut away a little bit from the bottom here. And that fabric pretty much matches, so I might leave that, but just cut away from this side. And what's nice about GIF animations, because they're just 256 pixels, or 256 colors at screen resolution, you don't need to be too um, detail oriented. You can kind of hack away at them. Like I'm doing. Now the eyes, I might want to steal some eyes from my first frame. So I might use my magic wand, select the yellow from those eyes in the first frame, duplicate that, and move those into folder two, and then distort them, right? So if I turn this to 100%, now I want to kind of merge these eyes together. And then I can just play directly with the, the color differences, right? So they have black eyes before. So I'm gonna select all of this stuff. This is kinda of, kind of loopy and dopey. And that's just how GIF animations are sometimes. It's kind of what I'm going for. And I can duplicate them onto their own layer. Or I can just adjust them directly, but I'll go to levels. I'm just going to darken them. Kind of bridge between the two. Maybe warp them a little. Hmm, why does it not look like they're moving? So there's a lot of these kind of individual parts we're playing.
And then I want to just change some of the colors. So I'm going to turn contiguous off and select all the reds. And then we're changing it from like light blue to red. So I need something in between that. And so I can say edit fill, pick a custom color, something between the red and a light blue. It's kind of moving to a purple, I think. And then fill them. So right now, this is what I have. I don't like how bumpy those eyes are. Let's see. Clean those up a little bit. So it's nice using our vector shapes because they're so much cleaner than just the, the pixels, right? So I'm kind of replacing things with my vector shapes and letting it get a little messier as I go. And then the last thing I need to change is the skin color. So right now, this is the first frame, this is the second frame, this is the third frame. So I need to change the skin color between purple and blue. So I'm going to use my magic wand, select all of that color. And then I can actually just go to image adjustments and hue saturation and play with it that way, do a direct adjustment. So it's coming from purple. I want it to move from purple to the blue. So maybe about there, I can take the saturation down a little bit. I can lighten it a little bit. Let's see what that's like. So it goes from this to this. Uh, that's a little too subtle in the color to that. So let me try that again. So you're constantly having to compare between. your different folders, because those are the different frames you're building. Oh, but that's like two right on, so that's not blue enough. So this needs to actually go more blue. And as you kind of get used to your, um, your work and the parameters you're playing with, it will go faster and you won't have to make so many decisions each time. Yeah, that skin color change is, is okay. Maybe I need it a little bit more purple. This is pretty subtle, the skin shift. The shift in the in the garb is, is different. Yeah, so that's a good color for the skin. Come on. And I think I think I need to shift the um, the fabric a little more slowly, or that's going to be shocking. So I'm going to adjust it. I'm going to go to hue saturation. I'm going to really brighten it up. Quick question, if we do the GIF, we can...